those restrictions are lifted and as far as the number of people that can gather in a location um, and as those numbers increase if those would meet the needs of what we need for our uh, celebrations um, our celebrations are scheduled for the first week of June so we're still about five to six weeks away um, our hope and what we are striving for and, and, and pushing forward is to have those physical graduations at the physical um, hotels that we have already pre-booked. If, if that should not be the case because the restrictions are not lifted and we cannot congregate you know, hundreds of people at one time, then um, we have the backup plan of the virtual. Um, and those are, are still things that we're discussing, things that we're trying to finalize, but just wanna let you know that our ultimate goal and what we are striving is to give our students the physical um, celebration, the physical graduation that that they deserve. Um, para los niños de kindergarten, quinto y octavo, que tienen las celebraciones al final del año y sus graduaciones, nuestra intención y lo que nosotros queremos es de poder tener físicamente esas celebraciones en los en el hotel que hemos reservado. Esas celebraciones no están um, para que no están hasta el, la primera semana de junio que teníamos estas celebraciones en mente. Sí que estamos a unas cinco o seis semanas fuera de esas celebraciones. Eh, estamos esperando cuando el gobernador decida el, el número de personas que se pueden ajuntar juntas y si nos permiten, y si nos permiten eh, poder tener una reunión con 200 personas, eh, poder físicamente tener celebraciones. Si es algo que no se permite porque las restricciones no están levantadas, entonces vamos a eh, consider, sabe, tener algo virtual como lo que estamos haciendo ahora, algo por, uh, por Zoom, algo que podemos celebrar y darle a los niños la celebración que ellos merecen y, y le pertenece. Eh, así que seguimos eh, hoping y rezando y queremos que poderla tener físicamente y si nos eh, vamos a, al, al plan B, que sería eh, tenerla eh, virtual. Okay. Pero algo para celebrar se va, va a suceder Uh, tenemos eh, padres que de verdad ayudaron durante el año en lo que es fundraising y, y poniendo uh, actividades para, para crear fondos para poder celebrar y queremos utilizar esos fondos que muchos padres tanto que, que trabajaron para, para las cuentas del de, de nivel de sus hijos y vamos a usarlo lo más que se pueda para poder darle a los niños lo que los padres y la escuela han planificado, pero tenemos las restricciones que tenemos que respetar. So, estamos tratando de tener tres diferentes planes. Uno que es el primero, que es lo que dijo la señora Beceiro, que es tenerlo físicamente como se ha planificado el año completo. La segunda es tenerlo virtualmente y posiblemente tener algo rapidito donde se pueden ver los niños, sea por los carros, pasar y celebrar, y se es solamente por la computadora. Y eso se determina en, en envasado en lo que anuncian los, los, el gobernador y el superintendente de las restricciones que nos dan en las locaciones, en las calles, porque eso siempre va a ser respetado por nuestra escuela. So families, just like Ms. Bercedo was saying, these celebratory uh, events are going to happen. We have three options that we have come up with. We have our first option, which is the way she was saying that the, the original way that we've planned, which is through the hotel or through an auditorium. Um, our second option would be where the kids can see each other, even if from a distance, through drive-bys, through many gatherings with certain amount of people at a time or completely virtual on the computer. Uh, it just depends on what restrictions we receive from the governor and from local authorities. But keep in mind that our uh, parents th that have helped so much in fundraising, uh, we do want to utilize these monies, but it has to be with the restrictions we are given. We will first abide by the law our first and, and, and primary goal is to maintain everyone safe. So we do need to respect the law and that is what we're working with. Uh, while we still really in our hearts want to celebrate our students and their milestones and their accomplishments. So that is why we have these different options. And as we get closer to the dates, then we will be making particular decisions as to which one we will go with. 
And then the yeah. option of possibly um, having these graduations graduations in the summer, again, we are we are at the mercy of, of what the governor um, tells us as to restrictions. I myself have a senior in high school who I'm also on hold. I have a, a daughter turning 15 that I had to postpone her 15th party. Um, so we ourselves, we're, we're kind of on hold waiting at the mercy of, of what the governor and what our local authorities decide. Um, so we, we can't sit here and promise you yes for sure in June or yes for sure in July because we don't know when these restrictions will be lifted. Um, but again, once we get that information, we will work with our teachers and we will work with our team to ensure that, that we do what's best you know, for our families and for our students and give them the celebration they deserve. Um, como le habíamos dicho, eh, nuestro plan es poder tener estas graduaciones físicamente. Hay una pregunta que si las podemos tener en el verano, como le habíamos dicho, no sabemos si puede ser en junio, en julio, agosto, porque nosotros estamos esperando que nos diga el gobernador y nuestras autoridades si se puede tener estas celebraciones y cuándo. Eh, yo como madre tengo una niña de 12 grados que estamos esperando, tengo otra niña, que, otra hija mía que cumplía 15, tuve que cancelarle su fiesta. So, nosotros no podemos darle a usted una fecha a decirle sí, el 15 de junio o el, el 30 de julio, porque nosotros no sabemos que las autoridades nos van a dar el permiso, sí o no, y para cuándo. Así que cuando tengamos algo eh, más concreto, le dejamos saber, pero sabe, para que sepan que nosotros sí vamos a darle algo a nuestros estudiantes porque se lo merecen. Okay, and a last reminder, families, our memory books are still being sold through our school app and through our website. Uh, these are two ways that you may purchase this very uh, important and emotional uh, memory book for your child or children. They are being sold and you may purchase them online. We're trying to keep everyone out of the, the school building. But when they do arrive here, which will be in the second week of May, then we will be contacting those who have purchased the memory book to come pick it up. Um, but it's very important that you purchase it online through the app. In the school app, you will notice a tab that says online store. And when you click on that online store, one of the options is the memory book. Um, they are being sold for $30. The charge is 37 because of the fees that come into the electronic processing. But please make sure that if you purchase, whether it's on the school website or on the app, that you include your child's first, last name, and grade level. Uh, we do have parents who submit them, and we don't have a way of tracking who the child is, and then we have to track the email that it came from. But an easier way and a way that is more effective and more clear for you would be in the comments uh, tab at the bottom to just include your child's full name and grade level. And that will make the expedite, expediting process a bit faster and with ease. Como la habíamos dicho semana pasada, el libro de memoria del este año escolar está ya a la venta. Eh, tuvimos varios padres la semana pasada que cuando estaban con nosotros aquí hablando vía Zoom empezaron a comprarlo y se los agradecemos. Eh, está eh, a la venta en nuestra página de web y también en nuestro app para que por favor entren y lo compren que este va a ser una linda memoria de este año escolar. Y por favor en la parte de abajo donde dice comentario, por favor indiquen el nombre, primer nombre, apellido y el grado de su hijo o hija para saber um, a quién le pertenece ese libro. Eh, los libros van a llegar la primera, segunda semana de mayo, más o menos, y cuando los tengamos, le dejamos saber para, que, para poder eh, organizar. organizar cómo van a poder a pasar a recogerlos. Eh, obviamente no podemos tener 500 niños a la vez aquí venir a recogerlos, así que lo, lo vamos a organizar, les, les dejamos saber. Pero es una memoria positiva, eh, ya que los niños han pasado esta, esta experiencia que sabemos que muchos nos están extrañando, están extrañando la rutina, están extrañando eh, salir y tener esa, esa conexión con sus amiguitos y amiguitas. Eh, esto es una manera donde pueden tener memoria de cosas positivas que sí sucedieron cuando estaban aquí. So, sería una oportunidad de darle eso a, a sus hijos. Um, again, it is a special memory book. It is a special year. Uh, it, it will uh, be a positive memory to the kind of year we're having where we know that our students are missing us, they're missing the routine, they're missing the interaction with their peers and their friends, and this will be a way to recap 
the times that they did have and the events that we did have and and just shine some light on on the the, the months that they were here um, this school year. So please take full advantage of that opportunity. Um, but we ask that you do not come into the office to purchase it, uh, that you purchase it through the website or through the app. Okay. Do we have any questions or comments? And then we will wrap up because we have kinder going on now in Zoom and first grade as well. But we want to make sure we've addressed your comments or, or concerns. Okay, we did that. Yeah. Unfortunately, parents, we, we do have someone with a strange name that has continued trying to come into our session and we're not letting him or her uh, join. Um, again, just like we ask that the students use their names and their faces, if you would please make sure that your device has your name on it because that is how we can avoid uh, what happened to us today, interruptions like that. But um, we thank you. We, we have no further, um, yeah, we do actually do, yes. The memory book and yearbook is the same thing, yes. Yeah. Some call it yearbook because it wraps up the year. Some call it a memory book because it's the memory gathered throughout the year, but, uh, but it's the same thing, okay? El, el libro de memoria y el libro del año, memory book or yearbook, es la misma, la misma cosa. Es una manera de, de darle determinación a, a lo que es. Es un libro de, de memoria del año. When are the pictures due? Regarding eighth grade uh, pictures, that is something that is coming from the eighth grade teachers. So just keep your dojos, uh, keep checking and refreshing your dojos because they're sending information for that. Refunds for events, we've discussed refunds in the past couple of meetings that we've had with parents. And we had a letter go home about that too. And we had a letter go home explaining exactly how the process works. If you have not received the letter for whatever reason, please uh, look in our school website in the remote learning tab and the letters are there, okay? And the same goes for gala. Gala is a school-wide event, so the same procedures apply, okay? Uh, we thank you very much for your time. We hope that we have given you uh, some time to, to reflect on the fact that this will be occurring till June. We hope that we've given you uh, a better picture of what Zoom should be looking like. We want to make sure that you are providing the best environment for the children that we share. Uh, please make sure that it is as formal as possible. Uh, obviously, it is your home. It is not a school. It is not a classroom. So we're not expecting it to be you know, decorated as such. But we do expect that the child is given the opportunity to focus and to uh, complete the the, their sessions as formal and as distraction free as possible. Okay, just a reminder, if you have any friends who were not able to join us, if you would please share the messages that were shared today, just so that they're kept abreast. Um, we do post these meetings in our YouTube channel, but just a reminder, um, if you can share the message with your friends, we would appreciate it. Si tiene alguna amistad de ustedes que no pudo estar con nosotros esta mañana, si le pueden eh, dar los mensajes de lo que hemos hablado hoy, Y como siempre, estas sesiones están puestas en nuestra página de YouTube para que ustedes um, puedan ir, ir para atrás y, y mirarlo si hay algo que tienen duda. Um, le deseamos que tengan un lindo día. Gracias por compartir con nosotros esta mañana. Y nos vemos el jueves que viene a, a las nueve y media, como siempre, a ver si tenemos algo nuevo de darle. Pero muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Muchas gracias por su paciencia, por su dedicación para ayudar a los niños a mantener su académica lo mejor posible y lo más con fortaleza. Gracias. Okay. Thank Hasta you. luego. Bye.